I'm Adam Amaral. I'm the founder and creative director at Master of Shapes. And Master of Shapes is made up of game developers, programmers, designers, kind of guys that sit in front of the computer too much, all combined to uh, make an interactive design studio that likes to push the bounds of technology. We like to find things that we might have never seen done or might not, maybe some people don't think is possible, and we like to go for it and really push the bounds. In the most basic terms, what we're trying to create is a, a virtual reality go-kart experience. But instead of being in a stationary go-kart like you may be seeing some others use, we're actually driving a real go-kart and seeing a full virtual world. So as users press the gas and actually drive, they start moving in a totally digital environment. And so they're seeing buildings flying by and speed bursts and power-ups and all this stuff as they drive through a course that looks like a normal course like you see behind me. The come up with the idea of driving uh, go-karts in VR was actually stemming from a project we did back in 2015. And we were just kind of crazy back then too. Uh, so we did a, a campaign for Castrol where we drove a full-size car in virtual reality. And at the time, it was pretty challenging. We had to develop a whole custom tracking solution that relied on GPS, accelerometers, and different sensors to like allow us to do that. Um, that was the genesis, but we knew it could be better, right? And so now tech has evolved, things have changed. We're here now in 2018 and we're like, we want to do VR go-karts. The challenge with GPS is refresh rate. If you want to have a successful tracking, you want to do it at the highest refresh rate possible. If it only updates to like, you know, once every second, the user's gonna be driving like doot, doot, doot. So the higher the refresh rate, the better. Cool thing about Black Tracks is it updates really fast. So we're able to send this positional data to the drivers instantaneously. Yeah, it was actually a lot of research to find the right tech that made all this come together. It was a combination of researching LIDARs to get accurate scans of the space, finding motion capture solutions that could actually keep up with the frame rate we needed and work with the game engine that we're using. Uh, and then finally figuring out how to outfit all the sensors that not only read where the cart is, but also read the steering data, the throttle data, and running a computer on a go-kart off of a battery. So all those things kind of combined together. We came across Black Tracks because we were like, okay, we know we need a motion capture solution. And what we found is a lot of them are geared towards really accurate, super specific, like skeletal tracking only. They don't seem to have a lot of general purpose use. And we were just stumbling upon different stuff. And we kind of work in the concert stage industry and we stumbled upon Black Tracks. We saw a clip on your website of a, a, a Toyota Supra doing like donuts on a, on a hockey rink and projection was tracking it. And when we saw that, we're like, whoa, this is a huge space and they're tracking a car, like this is exactly what we need. Because there's not a lot of large scale motion capture solutions out there that we had seen. So that's what we summoned upon Black Tracks. And then once we started to you know, look into the system, we realized it's actually would be work perfect for something like this. Black Tracks actually has a plugin for Unreal Engine that transmits all the server data you see behind me uh, into Unreal Engine. And so it transmits what they call like a rigid body and it tells us the orientation and position of the go-kart in world space. So we match that to our video game and it lets us move it just like a normal character. So 
So the black track system we're using is a combination of things. So we've got all, first, all the cameras that surround the whole track. We have 27 cameras total, and they're all positioned up on the roof here to aim at the, at the track and get the most visibility possible so they have the most overlap amongst each other. And then on the cart itself, we have uh, two beacons. They're made up of uh, three strings each. So it's a total of six IR markers that allow you to create a rigid body and track an object. Oh, we hope to take this concept as far as it can go, right? I mean, there's so much possibility of reinventing a, a physical track in the digital world, right? So right now, if you go go-karting here, it's awesome, it's fun, but it's the same track every time, over and over again. When you introduce a virtual world, it's like, it could be any track you want. Right now, it's a Tokyo, post-apocalyptic Tokyo. Next week, it could be a snowy village in Finland or something. The week after, a tropical island in Fiji. So we can constantly reinvent it. Not only from that, we can reinvent gameplay. It's like. Driving is fun, that's one aspect. We've introduced power-ups that speed you up or slow you down, that's another aspect. But even as something where you can battle your friend racing or racing your old time by seeing a ghost lap of your previous race, there's a lot of stuff we'd like to scale it to. Hopefully we can do it at more locations and get it to a lot of people.